Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to a, oh, shush you, to a mother Bakugan video. I am going to be showcasing off my Armored Alliance Bakugan, but this time I'm going to do it in two, actually no, three parts, to make it a little easier on your wall. So this part is going to be all about my core Bakugan, starting in, or in faction order, I'm starting off with Aurelis. So the first Bakugan I'll be showing off is Aurelis Auxilator. So this Bakugan is one of Ajit's Bakugan. It has two orange shields. It has 300 B and 6 damage. Now there's something actually really interesting about this Bakugan. It is the diamond version. Couldn't actually find the regular version, which actually sucks. So, Auxilator here has a oop, horn on it, like that. So there is Auxilator. Moving on is Aurelis Hellcore. So I'm actually quite impre quite surprised that they actually brought out a core Hellcore when they could have done it in Battle Planet, but they didn't. Anyways, this Barkagon has an orange shield and blue shield. It has 401, and if it lands on an orange shield, it gains 400B, and if it lands on a blue shield, it gains 4 damage. So, this is actually my first Hull Core, so I'm going to show it off to you guys now. So, here he is. There he is open. He's got a manual bit on the back here, it's a bit, bit loose, but that's okay. Oop, I'm going to get kind of out of the way. There is Hulkor. Up next is Aurelis Dragonoid. So this one has two green fists, 400B, and two, yeah, two damage. And let me just find him. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to look at the cards. Here is Dragonoid. There he is open. There is his horn. Aurelis Dragonoid. Okay, so. Interesting thing is, uh, I have three ferals. However, I'm only going to show you the one card, because it'll be easier. So, this is Ajit's first Bakugan he has ever gotten. He got that along with Auxilator here. So, AG is the first Aurelis Brawler. So, Feral here has two orange shields. 500 B power and 500 damage. Kind of wish they made um, Aurelis Shield Cores. It would be really nice. So, something cool about this is that I actually have one two diamond ferals and just recently got the regular feral so i got this this feral out of a fusion clip three pack that is i am sorry to all americans that and maybe any other area i don't know but this uh bakungan is all that those clips are only exclusive to um Australia, New Zealand, like Big W and whatnot. I'm sorry guys, you can't get that. <laughs> Unless you order it in. I don't know how. Anyways, moving on. Aurelis Trox. So this Bakugan has an orange shield and a green fist. 605. God, I wish I my iPad um had a bit more folk had a bit more of a focus to it, but anyways, here is Trox, here he is open, oh, that is little arms, and there is Trox, yeah, I'll put my arm, well, there we go, up next is Aurelis Simoga, so I also got this bucket going out of a fusion clip as well, you'll see the fusions in another part later on 
Anyways, this Pokemon has two orange shields, 701, and if it lands on an orange shield, it gains 300B and 4 damage. So, 13.5? Yeah, 13.5, that's the highest it can go to. Here is Simulga. There we go. There we go. Up next is Aurelis Centipod. Now, what's interesting about this box, guys, is actually not shown on the list. Like, if you have a Armored Alliance list and you see Centipod, this this Bokugan will not show up on it. Like, this this faction will not show up. It's weird. I think they forgot it or something. I don't know. Anyways, has two green fists, seven hundred and two. So, same as like I think, um, Feral. I think no, no, not. Anyways, there is there is the carrot card. Here is the buckle on itself. Like, I don't. I think you guys have never even seen what an Aurelis centipod looks like. So this is actually your first look at him, actually. Yeah, Aurelis centipod. Moving on to my second last Aurelis is Hydrus. So I actually got this Hydrus from the uh, Battle Arena a while back. So, Orange Shield, Red Fist, 802. So it's actually a really powerful Barking Gun. Here is Aurelis Hydrus. I think the only way you can get him in is the uh, battle arena. Yeah. So, anyways, that is Hydrus. And for the final Bakugan, another Bakugan I got from the Fusion Clips is Cycloid. Now, this Bakugan comes with a orange shield and a green fist. Is eight hundred and one, so one less damage than Hydrus. Land on a green fist, you get two damage, and if you land on a Orange shield, you get 300B. So, yeah. And here is the final Aurelis Bakken Gun. Aurelis Cycloid. So, they actually... Uh, so Cycloid here is actually a... Reboot version of the Subterra Cycloid from... Battle Brawls, who... I actually forgot who uses Cycloid originally. Anyways, I am now going to get my Aqua Spockagon out. I'll be right back. Alright, moving on to my Aqua Spockagon. I am going to start off with Aurelis, uh, not Aurelis, Aquas Trox. So this is the Aquas version of the Trox that you recently saw. It comes with two Helix Cores. It has 300 B power and 5 damage. There is the carrot card. Here is Aquas Crux. So Aquas Crux. Uh, if you're wondering, I pushed my Aurelis Bakugan over to the side so it will be a little easier. There you go. Crux. Moving on is Aquas Hellcore. So yep, I have an Aquas version of Hellcore. So this Bakugan comes with an orange shield and a helix, and it comes with 400 B power and 400 damage. So all in all, it's actually not a pretty alright, pretty decent Bakugan. Here is Hulkor. Yep. Not bad at fail. There we go. There we go. Next is Aquas Petrix. So, this Bakugan has two green fists. It has 400 B power and five damage. Oop. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I'll give you a better look at the carrot card. And I'll give you actually a better look at the Bakugan. There she is. I'll put her over there. <laughs> Stupid cat. Anyways, moving on. 
Hydrus. Aquas Hydrus. Comes with a Helix and Green Fist. 400 dam B power and 400 4 damage. I was going to say 400 damage. My god, that would be too worth powers. Anyways, if this Bakugan lands on a Helix Core, it gets plus 5 B power and plus 5 damage. So I think the best core that you want to have this Bakugan land on is the 303. So, yeah, that, this Bakugan is really good. This, and of course, this Bakugan is Diamond! Yep. Oh, uh, there we go. Diamond Hydras. Moving on is Aquas Maxodon. So he's a mammoth or an elephant. I can't remember which one. I think, yeah, whatever. Anyways, he has two green fists, 500 B power, and four damage. So there is Maxodon. Here is Maxodon. There is Maxodon. He is a little mammoth. If I have the Chaos version, you will see that very soon. Hey, come back here. There we go. Moving on is my second last Chaos, not Chaos, Aquas Bakugan, Milius. So this Bakugan comes with a red fist and helix. Six. 100 B power and 1 damage. So all in all, he's actually a really good Bakugan. For um, B power wins. Here is Nilius. Here is Nilius. Open! Here is Nilius with his legs folded out. He has short, stubby legs. <laughs> and the final Aquas Bakugan is... Aquas Rayarazu. So, I also got this Bakugan from the exclusive fusion clips. And you'll be able to see it in, in a second. So, it comes with two green fists, 800 B power, and one damage. So, there is the character card. If you want to guys want to look at it better. And he is Rayarazu. Little Mandrake three headed plant Bakugan. Yep. Anyways, I'm going to be moving on to my darkest Bakugan, so I will get those out and I'll see you in a second. Okay, moving on to darkest now. Starting off with Darkest Auxilit Hall. So I think this Auxilit Hall was one of my first. It's actually a really good Bakugan to have. Has two green fists. Has 100 B and 10 damage. Not entirely sure if this Bakugan ever got an evolution. But there is another card that has this similar stat line. That does evolve. You'll see it soon. Trust me. Anyways, moving on. Here is Darkest Auxilit Hall. Here is it. Open. So it's actually a pretty alright button on. There's there's the B power if you guys were trying to see it. So get the horn open. There we go. Either it's a crest horn or a crest, I'm not entirely sure what. Anyways, there's that. Moving on. I have in fact got oh, in fact got two hell cores. I'm going to show off the one character card because it'll be easier. So, Darkest Hell Core that comes with a red fist, orange shield, 200 B and 7 damage. Now, the reason why I have two is that I've got the diamond versions. However, if I show you, he is Diamond Hell Core closed. So this is what he looks like closed. I'm not going to open him because of a very important uh, reason. 
So I'm actually going to put him to the side here. So the important reason is that this is the first hell diamond hell core I got. And if you look here, in on this bit here, it actually broke. There's a reason why I'm not opening up this hell core here, do who I don't want to break it. So this is the first hell core, that's the second hell core. I am not risking breaking it. So I am not going to open that one. So you can see this one, it's fully open already. I'm not going to close it because I don't, again, I don't want to risk it. So there is my hell cores right here. So here, this one I'm just going to put to the side. Anyways, moving on, we have... Circus Pegatrix. You know, it'd be funny if I actually had an Oralist Pegatrix. I'd have all the Pegatrix in each of the factions. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, this Bakugan comes with green fist, orange shield, has 300 B power, and for damage. So, here is Pegatrix. Now, fair warning, it fell into a cup of coffee a while back so he's she's got a little bit of a bad habit of sticking but it appears she opened fine anyways there is Pekatrix boop uh, the big power is meant to be yeah under the leg here under, under the shoulder there's Pekatrix moving on to Darkus Simoga. This is actually the first Simoga I picked up. Kind of wish it was the uh, Ventus version, but oh well. And what I like about it is that this Bakugan was named after the I think 2019 Invitational winner Simo, who happens to be a Yu-Gi-Oh player, I think. I don't watch him, but it's a cool thing that he won. But yeah, anyways, it comes with. Two orange shields has three hundred B and seven damage. So I'll give him a better, give you guys a better look at the character card, and then the buckle gun, my first ever, oh, my first ever Seymour. Sorry about that. Open him up. There you go. Three hundred on the chest. Yeah. Moving on, I actually have two Milius Bakugan. I'm saying two because one is a special print. Now I am going to do the one card because it'll be easier. Comes with an orange shield and red fist. I was going to say green, but no, it's red. Uh, 400 B power and 5 damage. Now, there's Try to try again if you want to look at. So I'm saying that I have two. Just because that one of them is from the Drago versus Milius Brawler set. And one is just a regular pickup. So here is oh, regular Nilius. His wing likes to get stuck. So regular Nilius and special Nilius. There we go. There we go. So, special and regular. Up next, I have, in fact, two Hydras. I'll put one to the side. We'll get the character card of this one. So, this Bakugan comes with a orange shield and green fist, 400 B power and 5 damage. So, I will now show you the figures. Here is one. Here is the other one. There is two. Oh. There we go. Oh, there's it there. Moving on to my second last Darkus Bakugan. Darkus Farrell. So I actually do have... I actually have managed to get both a, a Jeep Bakugan in... Oralus and Darkus. Oh, 
RLS Diamond, but yeah. Anyways, a Helix and Green Fist, 600 B power and 5 damage. Give a good look at the card. And then, here is Farrell. Here is Farrell open. In the camera, it looks like he's got like neon, gl glowing neon green, but he doesn't. Anyways, there is Feral. And moving on to the final Darkest buff gun. Darkest Trox. So yeah, this is the Darkest Trox. This was actually the last Trox I needed. He was there, so I picked him up. So that, that was actually all good. So I actually needed a Darkest Trox. He was there. I got him. Anyways, moving on. Comes with two green fists. 700 B power and 3 damage. So, all in all, he's actually a pretty alright barking gun. Here is Trox. There is Trox opened. And his little arms. Here we go. Anyways, that was all of my darkest barking gun. I'll be getting out my Heos, so I'll see you all in a second. Alright, Heos Bakugan time. Starting off with Heos Cycloid. So I believe this is a Cycloid that I had gotten previously. So I'm, I'm not really sure when I got it, but anyways, comes with a green fist and an orange shield. Has 200 B power and 7 damage, so that's actually pretty good for those uh, damage wind plays. If you use damage wind plays. Anyways, here is Cycloid. There is Cycloid open. I'll make sure that the gate card is in view of the screen. So, Cycloid. Moving on to Chaos Trucks next. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this house trucks is a little interesting. I'll show you later. Uh, it comes with two orange shields, 300 B power and 7 damage. Kind of like the opposite of a um, 703. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to trucks. Here he is, the figure. So, the problem with this trucks is that his arms are loose. So, don't know how I can fix them, but they're loose, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect the gameplay much. I never really use trucks in a rule, as a rule, because, well, to be fair, he isn't one of my favorite Bakugan. gun. But anyways, moving on, I have, in fact, three Pegatrix. Now, the reason why I have three is, well... I'll show you soon. Anyways, moving on to the character card. I'll show off the one. She comes with an a red fist and a blue shield. Has 400 B power and 5 damage. So the reason why I say I have 3 is because not only do I have a diamond and regular, I also have the special print from the Cowboy Cubo and Darkus Cubo Magician, like, Cowboy set. So, I'm going to show off the regular version of Pegatrix, because there's actually something a little interesting about this one, is that... Uh, this Pegatrix doesn't have a printed B power. Yep, this Pegatrix is powerless. Is B powerless. So... Yeah, I know that the others have it, because I'm going to show you on my special print, Pegatrix, that she does indeed have it, right there, but the regular one does not have it. Either they forgot to print it, or it wiped off somehow, I'm not entirely sure. So, regular Pegatrix, special print Pegatrix, and Diamond Pegatrix. So Diamond Hydrus, Diamond Hydrus, and Pegatrix, oh, 
Both came in the Nilius Ultra 3-pack. And both and the Farrell and the Hellcores, both Farrells and Hellcores, came in the Pegatrix Ultra 3-packs. Whilst Hale, whilst Aurelis, whilst Gillet Hall came in the Gillet Hall 3-pack. Diamond Gillet Hall 3-pack, so I'll show you that soon. Anyways, moving on to the final Chaos box is on. Chaos Maxodon. Yeah. Anyways, this box one has two orange shields, has 600 B power and 5 damage. This is the last Chaos Bakugan you will all see. And here is the Bakugan itself. Here he is. Little white elephant. Earth. Or whatever. Anyways. That's all my Chaos. So I'll be moving on to my Pyrus. And I'll see you all in a second. Alright. Moving on to my Pyrus Bakugan. Starting off with Pyrus Trox. So this is actually the Bakugan that I was talking about in my darkest part. That I'm going to be putting these in like like segments, so like the Aurelis Darkest, blah blah blah. Anyways, this Bakugan has a green fist and orange shield, and the exact same stat line as Darkest Auxilic Hall. However, if this Bakugan evolves, the beat power is 200 and the damage is 20. So this Bakugan is really powerful for damage win plays. I don't have the evolution card. If I did, I'd use it. Anyways, here is Trox. This is not going to be the final one you'll see today. Here he is, all opened up. I'll even open up the arms. There is Pyrus Trox. Moving on is Cycloid, the Pyrus Cycloid, the one that MacQ uses. So this Bakugan comes with two orange shields, 300 B power, and seven damage. So when I say that I have the diamond Cycloid, I mean that I have the diamond. I gave, bought the regular version of Cycloid, but I gave it to my little brother. He still has it. I hope. There is Cycloid all opened up. So, yeah. Push him over there. Moving on to the third Bakugan. Dragonoid. So, I do have another Dragonoid, but... That's a different Dragonoid. So this is the actually a special print Dragonoid. So this Dragonoid comes with two green fists, 400 B power and 4 damage. And if it lands on a green fist, it gets 6 damage. Now I'm saying that this is a special Dragonoid is because it is from the same Nilius Dragonoid um, versus pack. I'll get the horn out first because it'll be easier because it's really hard to get out. So there is special print Dragonoid. The uh, B power is all in green. Pretty sure that's a special Dragonoid. Moving on to Pyrus Pegatrix. Yeah, I'm saying that if I had all of the Pegatrix in each in all the uh, factions, like Aurelis. I need an Aurelis um, Pegatrix, like if you help me find one, I could. That'd be grateful. Uh, comes with a blue shield and a green, a green a red fist, my bad. 400 B power and one damage, and it has, I think, I think that's double strike. Leave a comment below, like if that's comment, like um, double strike, if it is, uh, thank you, so kindly for your help. Anyways, here is Pegatrix. 
Not a thing in the other one. Here's Hendrix. And the other side. Moving on to what I believe is my final Hydrus. Yep, this is Pyrus Hydrus. So, this Bokugon comes with two green fists, 500b power, and four damage. So, here is the Bokugon. There he is open. Little fiery lion. Anyways, moving on to my third last Bakugan, Pyrus Nilius. So this Bakugan comes with two red fists, has 600 B power and one damage. This, so this Bakugan is actually a little, uh, weird, so I'll open him up. However, his head are completely loose, like it like it flops around and his legs are also loose, like yeah. So he's a he's a loosey goosey. So yeah. Anyways. Moving on to the second last Bakugan. Pyrus Barbetra. So I also got this one recently. So this Bakugan, she comes with, or he, it depends on which one you want to go with, has two green fists, comes, has, well, not comes, has 700 B power and two damage. So, yep, here is Barbetra. Is I'll open up and for the final Bakugan of the Pyrus is none other than Ultima Dragonoid. So this very special Bakugan is a exclusive to the Bakugan Switch game Bakugan Champions of Vestroya. The only way you can ever get this Bakugan is if you get the Deluxe Edition. Which I got, and I was very happy about it. Even though I haven't played the game for a while. Anyways, this Dragonoid comes with two green fists. Hang on, let me check the uh, other one. Let me get the other one. Like, Okay, so they both come with green fists. But this drag and it also has the six plus damage as well, but this Bakugan has a thousand B power instead of the 400 and one damage instead of the four damage. So that's how this Bakugan is. So here is Ultima Dragonoid. It kind of sucks that they used the same molding as the regular core Dragonoid. It would have been nice if they gave Ultima a special um, privilege, kind of like the Titan Dragonoid in um, Battle Planet. I'll open up the horns, so it'll be easier. And here is Ultima Dragonoid. And it's a bit different because it has the 1000B right here. So, there, so you can use this, bark, this Dragonoid and that Dragonoid over there in your deck. Because they have different stat lines. Anyways, that is my Pyrus Bakugan. I'll be now be moving on to my final faction of the video, Ventus. I will see you all in a second. Alright, and for the final faction, it is Ventus. So, starting off with Ventus Centipod. So I believe this is actually my first centipod. I'm not even entirely sure. I don't know if it's the uh, um, Aurelus or this one. I believe it was this one. I don't know. Anyways, this Bakugan has an orange shield and red fist. Comes with ha and has 300 B power and 6 damage. So 
Here is Venthus Centipod. So Centipod is a reboot of Centipoid from Battle Brawlers. So there is Centipod. Up next is Ventus Rairazu. So this is the main faction Rairazu. This is what Ebony the Cat uses, I believe, in the show. Quite a very, actually very interesting how animals are now able to use Bakugan. It was actually Lightning who used Hulkor first. He is the first animal to use Bakugan. Anyways, this Rairazu has a green fist and helix. Has 400 B power and 5 damage. And if it lands on the helix, it gets negative 4 damage plus 600 B. So, I think the best, um court to land on is the 303. I'm not sure what that stats add up to, but I think it's actually, I think it's um 13-4 if you land on the 303 helix. Yeah, I think so. Here is Rairazu. Well, plant Mandrake. I think it's yeah, I think it's a mandrake, yeah. Anyways, Rayarazu. Moving on to... Who trucks buckle gun? So I have two, just because one of them is the special print. Buckle gun of trucks from the Cowboy Cubo and Magician Cubo set. You will see the Cubos at some point in the future, probably for a bonus video. Not entirely sure. Make it, maybe make a part four of this set. I don't know. Anyways, these trucks come with the blue shield and green fist. Comes with 500 B power and three damage. I would say I have three of them, but I don't. I do not know where I can find the diamond. The diamond is the only one I'm even missing out of the trucks collection. Here are my trucks. I'll start off with the regular version first. So here is regular trucks. <laughs> Open up the arms. There's trucks. And here is special trucks. I always say special because they have the special prints on them, like the Hulux prints. Or hexagonal prints, I don't know what you call them. Got a little metallic on it, metallic on the gut, on the stomach, and yeah. Moving on to my next Ventus Bakugan is Ventus Farrell. So I actually have three Farrells. <laughs> I don't have three exilic horse, which actually kind of sucks. Anyways, this. Farrell comes with a helix and green fist and has a stat line of 500b and 5 damage. So all in all, a pretty alright Vulcan gun. And on 303 and you get like 808. So here is Farrell. Here it is open. And there's bright yellow on it. Moving on to the next Bakugan is Cycloid. Actually, I think this Cycloid is my first one. I am not entirely sure what. But anyways, this Cycloid comes with a red fist and an orange shield. It has 600 B power and 2 damage. And have a look, have a look at the character card. Before I move on to the figure. So here is Cycloid. There is Cycloid opened. So, yep. Cycloid. Up next is Ventus Dragonoid. So this Dragonoid 
has a Helix Blue Shield. So two of the best cores you can get, I believe. Comes with 600 bit power and who damage. So here is Dragonoid. And you know what sucks is that I actually don't like Ventus all that much. Like I will I will never use it, but but if that was but if this was the case then maybe if it had like very good cards. So there is Dragonoid. Up next for my second last Ventus Bakugan is Ventus Pegatrix. So you've practically seen a Pegatrix in every single faction except Oros at this point. So this Pegatrix has three green fists. Yeah, each fits because it's a Ventus Pokemon. Has a stat line of 600 B power and who damage. Get to go look at the character cards, like flying a storm or something, not sure where. Excuse me. Here is Pegatrix. Here is Pegatrix open. Why do they have a Baku gear car, like Baku gear hole on the back of the head? I do not know. That it just does for all of them. And there is Pegatrix. And for the final Ventus Bakugan, and you may have not actually seen this ever. Like, if you're very lucky, do pick that up, then good on you. But this is Ventus. Barbetra. So apparently, this Bakugan is actually the rarest Armored Alliance Bakugan you can find. And I don't know why it is. It just It's just really rare to get. It's hard to find. Uh, this artwork is not the right one, I believe. It was actually meant to be something else. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, this Barbetra comes with a orange shield and red fist. It has 700 B power and 3 damage. So that is Ventus Barbetra. And here she is. China Riot's extremely hard to find. Very lucky I have gotten Barbetra. There she is, all opened up. Anyways, that is all of my Ventus Bakugan. And if you enjoyed that video, oh, give me a moment. Alright, so if you enjoyed that, uh, please leave a like, comment, dislike down below, because you can't actually um, dislike the videos anymore. YouTube, please bring that bring that back. Anyways, this has been part one of my Armored Alliance showcase, showing off all of my my core Bakugan. Part two will be coming out after the holidays. So if you are watching this before or after, I hope you have all had a very lovely holiday and. I hope you get some awesome things. Anyways, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do whatever. I don't care. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful holiday. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.